Fifth year for Muschamp. Hells on in his eighth year. Here's a flea flicker on the first play for Auburn, and Nick's throwing it deep. Got Schwartz, but overthrew him. Incomplete. So Tank Bigsby, the true freshman running back, gets drilled at the point of attack. Defenses. They rush four and third and nine. Nix finds a receiver who's wide open, got behind the defense, pulled in for a first down. And making a beautiful throw. Nix off play action here, and Schwartz couldn't hang on to it. Running back in Tank Bigsby, just got to get the passing game going a little bit. Nix again off play action, and it's complete to Seth Williams, who is their top receiver. He doesn't drop anything. Gain of 11 last week, had two touchdowns in the win over Kentucky week one. Here's Schwartz out in space, and Chad Morris. Picks again to the air, and that pass too long for Shepard Jackson. So I think the mix has been interesting, but it's going to work out for Auburn in the long term. Another pass play here for Nix, although using his feet here, trying to get the first down, and he was able to do it. Boy, a couple Gamecocks go down, and he takes it with his legs. Nix again to the air, and a sliding catch made by Jackson for a gain of eight. Here's Bixby being chased, but gets the first down to the 20-yard line. Pickup of five there. And a capable pass catcher coming out of the backfield. Nix going back to the air, looking for Roberts here. Knocked up into the air and incomplete. Blessing for uh, Auburn. Here's Nix to the air on second and ten. Now he's going to take off and... Look at sacked at the 21 yard line. There's Keir Thomas again. Auburn two for two on third down against that great third down defense. Schwartz trying to get outside. It runs out of range. His opening drive, the sophomore quarterback. Throwing on first down here. Into South Carolina territory is Eli Stove. So an eight yard pickup. Nix will throw again, and it's caught for a first down. True freshman, Xavion Caper. Gotta like how in control he is at this moment of the game. 16th play, and on the pitch, Nick setting the block for Stove, who's inside the 30, and finally brought down inside. Here's Bixby, trying to cut it to the outside. Breaks a tackle, wow! Bixby all the way to the 10. Just outside the 10-yard line, Nix fires, broken up by J.C. Horn. Second and 10 for the Tigers. Here's Nix throwing a bait. Roberts! Incomplete. Starter for South Carolina in corner. Third down and 10. Nix caught. Touchdown. Eli Stope running the Wildcat, and he pitches it here. To Brant Lois, the backup quarterback. Lois pass to the end zone. is incomplete. Auburn backed up. Nix from his end zone, rolling to his left, and able to dump it off to Schwartz. And the speedster gets. Well, you said in the open, he had to step up today in order for Auburn to win. He's done that without question so far. His pass here, though, off target, going for Williams. Three that you expect a second year starter to make. It's difficult to expect that type of growth. Nix to the air again, and nice catch. On third and 11, Nix in trouble, escapes. Now Nix throws into traffic, and it's intercepted. There's J.C. Horn again, making a play. Auburn going back to the ground game here with Tank Bixby, and he gets planted. The ball has been a little bit stunted at this point because of COVID, but it's going to be an exciting player to watch. Big speed, past the 30-yard line, back down at the 32. Instead, it's a design quarterback run with Nix getting the first down. Creating opportunity for the quarterback's legs. Bo Nix, freshman of the year in the SEC a year ago, throws a deep ball here. Jump ball! And there he is, Seth Williams. He is so good with the ball in the air. Here's another pass play. Schwartz couldn't hang on. Dropped it at the 10-yard line. Here's Bixby straight ahead. And Bixby runs through defenders down to the one-yard line. The ball came out. It's recovered by Jones. 
First and goal for the Tigers. And Bixby walks into the end zone for the touchdown. I'll All try. Right. <laughs> they run it here on first down straight ahead. DJ Williams. Matt, to tell you how, how good or bad Greg was, he couldn't get his own name when we went through the, the draft picks. <laughs> he forgot where he was picked as uh, Bo Nix. Really good so far. Yeah, the one mistake by Nix on the interception. Gets rid of the pass here. And dropped at the 20-yard line. Nix looking. Everybody covered. Takes off. Makes a nice move to get the first down. And then slides. Converting yet again against one of the nation's best third down defenses. Williams ripped down to the backfield. Patrick, of course, played at Auburn as a quarterback as well. And Patrick coached Bo in high school. Here's Nix rolling out. Long throw that is dropped. That was on target, but. Team as well. Might be a free play here as South Carolina looked offside. The pass is caught, but short of the line to gain. Third down and five. Nix from empty. Moving around. Flips it into traffic again. And it's picked off again. Airbrushed, you think? <laughs> Play action here. Nix forced out of the pocket. And this time throws it away. You have to be really smart with the football. Short throw here by Nix. On third down, pass is caught by Stove again. Forward. Nick's in trouble here, being chased. And he runs out of bounds with four seconds left. Tank Bixby, his eighth carry of the game, and it's a four yard run. Let's check in with Holland. Consistent. Big speed trying to get outside. In trouble though. And he is slammed to the ground. Bad decisions and some unfortunate outcomes. There is some movement there as uh, that back shoulder throw is off the left hand of Williams. Again, bottom of your screen, that great matchup. Seth Williams against J.C. Horn. He's looking for Williams, trying to get free. Now he throws for Williams. Jump ball incomplete, but a flag. A lot of contact there. Pass Holding play. Defense number one. Ten yard penalty. Also carries an automatic first down. Was it though? I, maybe that was the wrong replay there as uh, the Stove has the first down. I mean, maybe it happened earlier. Continue the next 30 minutes. Bixby able to break a tackle down to the 41 yard line. It's available to you. You want to go for it on fourth. That's DJ Williams in the backfield. Nix moving outside the pocket, long throw, and near the first down is Anthony Schwartz, and he throw though on the sideline. They'll run Williams here, up the middle. Runs through defenders for South Carolina, and dogs. First down for Auburn inside the South Carolina 30, they give it to Bixby, and that's read well by South Carolina. At the bottom of the line, we haven't seen a whole lot of him. Let's see if they get him the ball at some point. Nix again moving outside the pocket, and another flag is thrown on Horn. There are two fouls on the play. Inezible downfield, number 65 offense. Pass interference, defense. The fouls will offset with the second down. Quarterback run here for Nix. Nix. From the pocket, throws knocked away by Horn and complete. Auburn takes over on its 31 yard line, trailing for the first time today. Nick's off play action. That pass deflected at the line. Second and 10 now for the Tigers. Nick's going to run it and runs right into Keir Thomas. Nick's pass is off target, incomplete. Second interception thrown by Hill this season. Big speed kind of stumbles at the line of scrimmage. Second down and seven for Auburn. Nicks to the air. And Schwartz going down to make a first down catch. One play, Big speed up the gut. The three out to the 34.
Schwartz, they were 12 yards off. That's how much they don't want him to get over the top. That's called respect. Here's a pass over the head of Seth Williams. Play clock is down to two. Snap to Nix. Side arms it, and it's picked off by J.C. Horn, taking it back. With the second interception of the game, J.C. Horn. He's been emotional all day. Nick's keeping it here. He lowers the shoulder. Tension, too, so he's got to allow his composure to settle in. Nick's moving to his right here on second down. A lot of contact downfield. Although they moved Schwartz away from it, now he motions back into that on third down and six. Nix takes off. Flag is down. And Nix is short of the line to gain anyway, brought down by Ernest Jones. Trailing by eight as we start the fourth quarter. Nix has sown three picks all on third down. He's going to drop it off underneath here to Williams. And Williams upfield has the first down. Still going. Stiff arming. Deep in South Carolina territory, all the way to the 31-yard line. As I watch this Auburn offense try to create more separation. Play fake here for Nix, and wide open in the middle of the field is Capers. Down to the 26-yard line. A little differently, where they just go mono e mono press man, and they haven't been getting separation. Big hole for Bigsby inside the 15. Keeps his balance somehow. It's the SEC in all-purpose yards as a first-year player. Nice stumble that time. Those big J.J. Pegues motioning to the left. Here's Williams getting the carry. Pushed back at the four-yard line by Zach Pickens. But he has not won that matchup very often today. Nick's rolling left, waiting, directing traffic, and then throws it away. My hand twisted. That's why the ball twisted. So 2 11 on the clock again no timeouts Nick's back to throw pressure coming Nick's rolling out throws it away Nick's in trouble gets out of there nice move at the 40 and Nick's tripped up completions underneath four man rush Nick's throwing a deep ball for Schwartz who beat his man but the pass was thrown over his head South Carolina knew very well where he was out on the field and how quickly Charlotte Sanders got there. A flag down, Nick's rolling out, throws back across the middle, caught by Stove at the 35 for a first down. Five of South Carolina. Nick's looking, long throw to Schwartz, and the pass a little bit low, incomplete. 35 yards away from having that chance. 132 on the clock. Nix bouncing around in the pocket, steps up, takes off. He's got running room. All the way down to the 18-yard line. Great job by Bo Nix. They have some options here. They could run the ball inside the 20 with this time. But Nix will throw. Pass over the middle is caught by Williams. Maybe you can get a quick out route out of bounds. Give you a couple good shots at the end zone. Nix in trouble. Gets hit, runs him with his own guy, gets rid of the ball at the last second. They have not made a ruling yet. Almost certainly knock him out of SEC West Division title contention. Nick's rolling around, trying to make something happen. He's got some green in front of him. Tries to hurdle a defender, gets knocked out of bounds at the 12. Nick's time is running out. A flag is down, and Nick's running the ball. He's tackled at the nine. No time left. Let's see what the penalty is, though. 